The historic Reed Hotel is preparing for a $25 million makeover that will get underway tomorrow. Just earlier today, the owner of the hotel confirmed asbestos has been found in the basement. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell joins us to bring us new details to that the news will affect renovations. Tanisha. Greg, well, the owner, Jonathan White, says that the renovations will not be impacted by the asbestos found, but he did make it clear the asbestos had nothing to do with the renovation. We're not necessarily required to remove that, but for the benefit of our employees, we have hired an asbestos abatement company through our general contractor, and any asbestos that was found in that report is being abated through this renovation. Golden hammers and champagne glasses shimmered at the Reed House Tuesday. All this in honor of the hotel's biggest renovation yet. From what we hear from people in Chattanooga, um, they've been waiting a long time for this day and, and we're, we're happy to be a part of it. Whites and his team bought the Reed House in August, but they started meeting with designers months before. White says the goal was to bring back elements from the hotel's early years. Its heyday was in the 20s and the 30s, and so our entire renovation, not just today, is based on bringing back the Roaring Twenties and what the Reed House was really built to, built to be, which was um, a beacon of Chattanooga. We got to tour a model of what all 241 rooms will soon look like. But a lot of times when people say they're renovating, it's really they're going to put in new carpet and new furnishings. We're taking every piece of drywall out, and so everything on the guest room floors is being removed and started from scratch. While the $25 million makeover is underway, White says they will uphold the hotel's tradition of always keeping its doors open. Since it opened in 1872, it's never closed its doors, whether it be thr through flood, famine, and so we felt we could not let that happen, not happen. So the Manor Building will stay open and the Reed House will maintain its streak of being the longest continuously operated hotel. Well, White says the first phase of the project should be complete by next summer. By then, construction on the Manor Building will begin. For now, live in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Tanisha, thank you. As far as that asbestos in the basement goes, the Reed House owner tells us it'll be taken care of during the renovation. You may remember just a month ago, we told you about the investigation by state inspectors that was launched after an employee filed a complaint about asbestos in the Reed House. And when we reached out to inspectors today, they told us that investigation is still open. It may take up to eight weeks to complete.